What's happening, YouTube? Team Legends TV here with the top four matchup between a Team Legends member, actually, uh, Matthew Charles Murray, our article writer. You want to go check that out on our Facebook fan page against Arminio. And this is a Shadal Mirror match. Uh, I'm actually going to do this recording solo, so I'm going to try and do my best here to keep you guys entertained. So, uh, Arminio going first. Oh, just decided to set the break news, stopping the math petition. I know in this, all right, I play Shadows myself, and uh, going second is by far the better choice, because your opponent may brick, as Arminio did, or they commit to the board and leave a fusion on the field. There's a chance. So it, it pays off going second. And plus, you get that extra draw, so it's probably the best decision overall. Let's see what Arminio does here. So yeah, as I said before, this matchup, of course, you do not want to leave an extra deck monster on the field face up, because then... Your opponent has that free should all sign if they activate a should all fusion. Oh, Jagobite. So he's playing he's playing the clown variant with Jagobite. Wow. All right. So instant rank fours. I don't know what. Maybe a dweller, so he doesn't get the draw for match edition. That'd be a smart play. Dweller. There it is. Well, oh, that'd be a twenty-two. Also, he attaches a, a trick clown. Oh, attacks for math. Nothing. There you go. So that's a good way to play around the mathematician. Arminio doing very well so far. This actually does put quite a bit of pressure because he can detach and negate all the effects that are set. But it looks like Matthew does not want to uh, commit his Shadal Fusion to lose resources because this matchup, resources are very key. It's not, all right, this, this is how this matchup can go. Either way, it's either you win super quick and you sack them with Soul Charge or BLS or something like that, you know? Because that's usually how I lose. Or I get decked out. Or I, I just lose the resource war in the matchup. <laughs> Which is actually very likely. Right, so he needs an out to that Dweller ASAP. And let's hope it's a Squamata or a Dragon. Oh, it's a Hedgehog. Okay. So this adds in the fusion. But as I stated before, the Dweller does make you burn resources. And uh, you go minus. Passes. Arminio, kind of a slow start, but he's controlling the board, so it's, it's looking pretty even right now in the neutral game. There's the free summon here. Will he choose the chain? Okay, of course. What would he bring out here? Because you don't want to burn, as I said, you don't want to burn resources, so... I don't know. I run three Spamata, so I could potentially... Oh, let's see, what do you want to make here? It depends what he has in his hand. I can't really get a good look. Because if he has a beast... He can tribute off. Oh, it looks like he's going for a check. So there's the glow up bulb. I don't know if that was a dragon. It doesn't matter. There's no background. So it's a check. I hope he has a, a beast in the Or maybe a Book of Moon set, because that'll, uh, that'll make him uh, not lose to Arminio Shadow Fusion. He happens to have one. There's first damage. Actually, no, it's not first damage. Uh, Matthew took 200 already. And, uh,. Yeah. Arminio has taken 900. Oh, wait, okay, he is going to shoot, hopefully. So that, that's a very vulnerable spot, actually. There it is. Yeah, that, he did burn quite a bit of resources there. He did not get the, the dragon, and he did not get Shekinaga's uh, floating effect to grab the Shadal Fusion. So, resource wise, Arminio is ahead, but uh, control wise, well, actually, control-wise, Aminio does have the advantage, but uh, Matthew has a beast set, which those two draws could be crucial. Let me get a look at Aminio here. I see a Gigabyte, and that's all I can see. Oh, uh, that looks like a Spamata. It summons it. Oh, wow. Uh, I see blue cards in his hand, but I can't get a good one. Oh, there's the Jagobite. He could want to go exit on here, knowing that Matthew does not have a Shadal Fusion in hand, unless he top decks it. But I don't know the hand count. I think Matthew has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six to 7 cards. I'm not entirely sure. Arminio is lower, so he can exit on, which he will. Yeah, yeah. 6 to 3 or 4? This next song's gonna be huge, but uh, the beast will give him a draw. Which is, oh no, he's gonna fail it. Right? Okay. That actually kind of hurts. Because now if you top X the uh, the Shadal Fusion or uh, top decks a uh, a Squamata, that beast 
That beast will trigger its effect if you choose to discard this Pokemon and add a Sensei Shadow Core, which will plus even more. But then again, he does have to play around that exit on his deck. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, during the player's turn, you can detach, and if you control less cards than your opponent, you can blow up the whole board. Oh, he activated Shadow Core. Oh, it's a shame he didn't have El Shadow. Man, because then his field would be blown up uh, due to the Exiton not being on the field. So Baylor has no. can't really. Monster. Man, that's a free Shadow Fusion, though, if Matthew can get it. Because he did no He already normal summoned. I think he normal summoned like half trigger. No, he summoned. He normal summoned Kamada, right? So it's Falco. So it looks like. Amino is the first to try and set up a wall so he is behind at the moment. Hmm. Actually, okay. Here's the cool thing. They're both should all mirror matches, but they're not actually the same exact deck. Armino is running more of the uh, the new version that's been uh, getting popular around mm -hmm. in the TCG is the perform agent with the clowns such as uh, Hat Trigger, Trick Clown, and uh, so got damage juggling, which all those guys have broken effects, and they're lights, so they give your shit off fusions more targets, making your deck a bit more consistent. And they also play Jagabite, so it gives you access to water fusion and rank forwards. Well, Matthew, last time I played him, which was yesterday, he was playing a oh! prediction princess, that and that that'd be interesting to see that. Oh, yeah, he does make decrease. Uh, yeah, as I was saying before, uh, uh, prediction princesses, so he names Manjis. And the Prediction Princess that, I don't know the name exactly, but it can flip cards face up and face down during the player's turn. Oh crap, I just, oh, uh, BLS, Banishing the Beast. Alright, so he's playing around the Beast. Pretty well done. But if he cop decks the Shadal Fusion, or even a, a Mathematician or a Foolish Bear, this could be huge, because he can just get a free summon. BLS was huge here, because he, he didn't give Matthew two draws, which could have possibly sealed the game if he drew something crazy. Checking his grave, checking out, uh, what are his options here? Uh, I don't know, he has, he'd have to draw something sack himself, or get that, there it is, alright, so here comes the free fusion. I mean, that's what I'm predicting he'll do. Yeah, I don't know, no one wanted to do commentary with me. We have two available people here, there's Lauren, just staring at Whatever he's saying, I don't even know. And Sunny, watching the duel. They could have easily helped me, but I, I just didn't want to watch the duels. I don't mind running the solo. It's just uh, he's a little lonely back here, and I don't get to talk to him anymore. It's always good to have that second opinion too. Oh, he's actually going glow up for Interesting. See, he mills a prediction princess. That's what I was talking about. Carol. Wow. I don't know if I would have went this play. This play is different. Oh wow. Okay, so he's banishing. They get banished, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's from hand or main deck, then they would get banished. But, uh, that was a good play, but judging by Armino's hand, he'd only have one card in there. I, I think the Shadal Fusion would have been better because he would have been way ahead. Oh, and he negates the construct. Okay, good play. And he gets to search a ritual spell or monster, depending on what he wants. I don't know. <laughs> that works really well. Mathematician blow up bulb into uh, a soul of mourning, pretty much. Uh, a somewhat of a macro, too. But it can uh, you can tribute it during in player's turn to negate a monster effect or a spell like trap. So he decided to negate the construct, not giving him the shit off fusion. Because if he did it, he'd have a free summon. And he got to add, he, he went plus one, so that was a good play. Aminio decides to set one. Not sure what it is. Hopefully it's a Falco. Because that, it'll provide somewhat of a wall. But here comes the Manju, and I think he searched the field spell? No. I know, he, he adds the, mon the ritual monster. And, oh crap, what's going on? <laughs> not that much. That will not get over the top. That's how it is. Should be checked. So that thing is a level ten. Oh no, we're okay. Oh, I don't even think it has to be the same level. I'm not. I'm not sure how many levels it is. I can't really tell from this angle that I have here. So that can flip monsters face up or flip monsters face down during either player's turn. 
Yeah, it's pretty strong in this matchup because uh, you can flip your Manji face down, your Falco. You could also see as you did it now. He's gonna have much more. This resource more for Magic got a lot easier. And Aminio has to deal with a face down Falco yet again. I don't know what his monster is. He decided not to attack. Doesn't look like to be. A, this could be a Falco, but. Just thinking about what he can bring back. I know he plays Paul Hanuk and Soul Charge, and he could bring back that BLS actually because it was summoned properly. But life point wise, I don't think it's changed that much. Mavi hasn't really been attacking directly. And me hasn't been doing much either. But here, oh man, this is not looking good. Breakthrough skill. Okay, all right, he's scooping it up. That's it for game one. We'll be back in game two, guys. What's happening, YouTube? Here we are again with game two. Uh, should all mirror match here between Matthew and Arminio. So, uh, this matchup, the siding is not fun at all because there's only, there's literally one card people are scared of in this matchup. It used to be Mind Control because that card is literally just steals the game. You could uh, steal a, a Falco or a, 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 a Beast and just plus off that. But uh, now there is this dreadful card that Konami decided to print. Uh, it's called Retaliating Sea. Uh, you can, when your opponent activates a spell card that would special summon, you can uh, special summon on your side of the field, and any cards sent to the graveyard, while this card is facing on the field, it, they would be banished. So if you drop that on a Shadal Fusion, oh man, you're going plus for days, because uh, they get to send monsters from their hand or deck, depending on what you have on the field. Uh, all those monsters get banished, including the spell card that they use. So Shadal Fusion or L, they would get banished. So, and then you have such a huge... You have a huge advantage off that. And even if it dies or it leaves the field, you get to search a maxi off of it. So that card is just too good. And it makes me mad. But you know, Konami, it does its things. Can't hate them that much, I guess. They made this brilliant game for us to play. But, anyways, back to the match. So we got just uh, field, field presence wars here. No one wants to give each other free beast effects. Um, Regeki was dropped for beast. Lamada. I don't know if they did much. Was that, I don't know what was the first monster Matthew set. Like, there should all core. Oh man. But yeah, for the side, I'm predicting. Alright, so. Oh, I decided Max needs it, or. I don't think he mains it. That's a good play. Max is really good. Especially because the clowns are actually like a special summoning like, engine that just goes off. So. Max is gonna go a long way. Falco will get a hedgehog. Another, oh, so here he searches spell. I think he searched because he popped it with some mod. I'm not sure. Oh, Matthew ch taking the challenge. He wants Armino to take the challenge, but Armino's kind of a safe player, so I don't think he'll take it. Sure. Alright, free hedgehog searches. Alright, uh, so yeah, uh, some news here. Uh, both players decided to side with the gentleman's agreement to side out Soul Charge. So that's one less card both players have to worry about. But uh, some vital information was given away by Matthew. Since uh, Arminio is indeed a gentleman, I love the guy to death. Uh, oh, Maxi, okay, good. I thought I was retaliating, so he almost had a heart attack. Uh, both players, Arminio wanted him to side out uh, BLS and also Vanity. But then Matthew told him he doesn't run BLS or Vanities. And I talked to him about this. He says for consistency issues. But he doesn't main the Vanity. He, he, he sides it, but he does not main BLS. So Maxi off of a. Uh, Chaining to a Shadal Fusion, so there comes Winda. I don't know what the face down is. Hopefully it's not a Falco. Well, maybe it is, because she's Flamada in the grave for some reason. Oh, it was a Falco. Okay. He's deciding to stay with the chain here. So, another free special for, uh, or a free draw for Arminio. In this match, you do not want to give your opponent draws. Because once they draw that, uh, not Soul Charge BLS, but, uh, um, Actually, Armino still has the healer, so he could top deck that. But uh, Mind Control, as I said before, that card is huge. He could literally steal that Falco and use it himself to get a beast back from the grave. Which is actually raising suspicion for me now. Because, uh, choosing not to negate the Falco special may seem to me that he has either a card in his hand that can steal possession. He's going to use that himself. Well, I don't know, that's just a theory. Um, let's see, he attacks the core. Core will not get its effect. Because uh, that card only gets its effect when it's sent to the graveyard by a card. 
Uh, he attacked already, decides to tribute for it. Alright, so he's playing around the Shadow Fusion. They're, both players are playing it well. Matthew doing his best to play around the Shadow Fusion. So both players, as I said before, are playing very well. And as I said before, um, I am running the solo, and it's, I hate being all by myself back here, but uh, I'm trying my best. Let's see what he gets. Send me the mind control. You know, I know you got it. I know you got it, boy. Let's see. Let's take, take his time. That's what good players do. Good players take their time. You don't want to. You want to see what options you have. That's some good advice for all the the rookie players out there that are trying to play. They're getting into this. Game. You, you want to know every option you possibly have, so you don't uh, misplay or um, <coughs> excuse me, accidentally uh, just like mess up your combo or put you in an even worse position than you are now. So it's a, the should all fusion. I didn't see the light. Oh, it's a trick clown. Okay, another max C. Wow. This puts some pressure on the board because. Uh, I mean, pressure on Armenia, because that Trick Clown, he already gave Matthew one, one draw, and that Trick Clown could potentially be the plus one. I mean, so if they go, they go, mine, they go uh, even, I guess, one for one. But uh, according to Matthew, well, on his part, since he did drop one card, or drawing two, that he would be going plus one. But Armenia was trying to kill him. He does... He does decide Sorry. to go with the Falco. <laughs> oh yeah, we got some people playing melee over here. Great game. Let's see, uh, what is he searching? He's probably deciding what to send with Constant. So he did he has a Falco on the field. Okay, he does hit core, so core can add him back to Shadow Fusion. So he's gonna also play around the Shadow Fusion stuff. He's gonna go with the Beast play. Yeah, uh, standard Hedgehog Beast play. It's gonna attack something. I, I think it's gonna attack the top. I would attack the top because if you guys didn't know this, uh, when uh, a construct attacks a face down Falco, it's still treated as a special monster, a special summon monster. So it'll automatically destroy. It. And therefore, playing around both Falco as the is doing, and he's also, well, I'm guessing he's gonna play around the Shadow Fusion and tribute the construct. So two very. Very good players in the mirror match. They, they both know what they're doing. They're both playing around cards that they know could blow them out really quick. Kudos from both of us. There he's, oh, he decided not to attack. That's interesting. All right, so core. I don't got a core because oh no, he didn't use core. Core was attacked. So let's see. What we got here. You sack him. You got like two draws. Not math efficient. You know what I want to see? I want to see a Trishel on the field. Can someone please summon a Trishel? I want to see someone go, oh no, and then they get all this stuff. <laughs> I dropped the Churchill today. I think I won that game. No, I lost that game. Yeah, no, you're not supposed to lose once you drop the Churchill. Which I did. I had nothing else to do than I did. It's a pretty card. I, I'm actually kind of happy that card. It, like, you're forced to know, like, oh, your opponent has... Oh, wow. Oh, I wonder if Matthew here is going for that uh, Herald play. Oh, Tarantula, this is huge. This is huge. This is a good turn. What? Ermina told me not to play a Tarantula. Look at him. Look at this guy. I'll never take his word again. Man, he hit everything. Holy crap. Well, Glow Bulb's out. Mathematician's out. Uh, Falco comes back, and Beast is a draw. So we're actually keeping up. So Ermina went plus right there. He went probably plus. Plus two? No, he used one card. Ah, you get mad. He used one card to get rid of four, but two have effects. So he got two. So I don't know. He, I'm saying he went plus because he got rid of four monsters. That's pretty good. Amino did max C, so he gets to draw off that Falco. Hopefully, he remembers that. Let's see. It is off key. Oh, well, not off key. I don't even know. I'm over here, that's why they're playing in the top floor and I'm over here commenting, because I'm not that good at this game. I did try my, my butt off today though, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I made top eight. Lost to Rich of these guys, so, pretty salty. Pretty salty, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty... Call the Haunted, alright, and MST, this is a plus one for, uh, for Matthew. It's a free search off the Hedgehog. You know I like Call of Haunted this match? And I mean, it's all because it, no matter what they do, they call it on it. Like, if they pop it or if they bounce it, something like that, uh, your Shadows get their effects. 
So that's a that's a minus one for Emilio. He used one card to get rid of one, but uh, Matthew did get one card out of it. So he, he went minus one there. So I mean, maybe he has a really good play because uh, he had that. He MST the one back row, so I'm pretty sure he's going for something big here. Oh, he's going to Baylor it. Oh, I forgot. This guy plays Baylor's. <laughs> Baylor's a great card, actually, today. I would recommend people playing it. It gets around. Well, oh, wow. That's what happens when you don't main a BLS. Pretty too. <laughs> As he summons BLS, he waves at me. This guy knows. I was telling you guys, he's popping that MST. He's going to use the MST to get rid of that one back row, and he's going to dance. But I'm hoping for my, my, my teammates' sake that he comes back. And banishes the Falco. I guess that was a good player. He's kind of chuckling about it. Maybe he might have another out to it. See what he can do here. Oh, so off he's in. Do we have. I don't even think these guys side are retaliating. So I'm actually not sure. I'd have to ask him after. Oh, man. He might be going for game here. I'm not sure. But uh, Core is indeed not in the deck. So he has no way of getting an El Shadal back. Unless he. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know. He, I mean, he could Synchro make a Leo, but then he has a BLS that can't attack, so he can't really go for game. He's a normal this turn. So he can continue to play around the Shadal Fusion if he does play more than two beats. But it looks like he has all the control, but. On Matthew's part, he looks pretty solid right now. He, he's not worried. He's not fidgeting with his cards too much. He's playing it, right? He's, he's, he's keeping his cool. That's also what you want to do out here in Yuga. Because some people... I think I, I think that's what happened to me last round. I was getting kind of frustrated because I was not drawing very well. And it was just not going my way. I know those are excuses, and most people don't want to hear those. I mean, I don't want to hear them myself. But I was, bottom line is, I was showing my frustration. I guess my opponent picked that up. He's like, all right, this guy's got nothing. He just went on. And eventually he won. But Matthew's keeping his cool. He's got his composure. That's good for him. He doesn't give away anything. Amino is always in a happy mood. Nice oh, wow. I just noticed he dropped a, uh, a vanity speed. That thing. I hate that card. It's so good. So, yeah, if you guys don't know, that card... All right, they scooped it up. So there you have it. Just manage games all you need. We'll be back with games. What's happening, guys? Team Legends TV here again with game three between this crazy mirror match that I'm, we're witnessing here between Matthew Murray, part of Team Legends, of course, your boy representing, and Arminio, a.k.a. Mr. Smiles a lot, Hermione, whatever you want to call him. Both guys chill. Looks like a... Oh yeah, it's game three by the way, so they're one one obviously. So this is to make it to the finals. This is it guys. This is for those 50, 60 points I think you get if you make the final. Yeah, and Legends has a ranking system. It's pretty cool. Here's I'm gonna uh Oh my No No I don't even wanna do commentary anymore. I don't even wanna do this anymore. He dropped the most dreadful card in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it makes me really mad. So, if you guys do not know what this dreadful card does, as long as it's face up on the field, all cards that are sent to the grave are banished. And Matthew has to send two cards from his... Oh, God. This is terrible. He has to send two monsters from his hand that are banished. Oh, he changed El Shadal! Did he change El Shadal? Oh, my God. This guy drew nuts. Alright, so he's not actually that far out. But he did get rid of three cards with just one, and he gets to draw a card off next to you. So they both do pretty damn well. This is quite the match. No way, are you really gonna help me? Oh my god, did yeah. you see that? It's super <laughs> mean play. The chain in the El Shadal, so he's mine is even harder. You oh. did? Yeah. I thought you were supposed to. Change. No, because uh, he got Shadal Fusion, he did Maxi, uh, Retaliate and Maxi, right? And so what would have happened that he would have got his one monster and then his two cards would have been banished, right? It would have been fine. But now, he, uh, so Banished what happens, El Shadal resolves because he chained it. So he summoned out his Winda, but then he still has to resolve Shadal. Yeah, he region. does. So he had to banish his Winda and his Math Magician <laughs> from his hand to go for a check. 
which um, I mean, at least he has. No, but his car, window, his window is vanished, <laughs> and he doesn't get the plus out the window. And then what the hell? But that's just that. That's just how that card is, dude. It's yeah. one of those douche cards. Nah, I would have. I would have just. So you, I would have just taken. Did have a good hand. Yeah, play no, hand? yeah. Like he had to. He had to decree it in his hand and mass magician. He could have used the mass magician later, right? Because then he would have just been able to like. Whatever brought up. So you would have just taken. Yeah, I would have just taken the loss, got my monster, punched the mass or the max, max C, the okay. uh, retaliating C, and then I still have a mass magician for later on. And he has a decrease set, but because he did it that way, he lost it. He lost it even harder. And then. Uh, and I don't then think that card should be. And Matthew hella misplayed because. Uh, he revealed everything. He revealed his hand because. He didn't think he had to re resolve shit all season. And then for some reason, he revealed his hand. Easy places? Yeah, easy, easy, free wins over here. Yeah, yeah I, I was running solo because no one wanted to help me. I pointed at you when you weren't looking. Uh, and Brian's like, oh, no, he's probably doing something about the duo. Uh, yeah, I was bodying the duo, man. Who's that can help me? Uh, Guo uh, Zenning is the uh, China YCS champion. China YCS champion. China, whatever they Officially call it. joining Team Legend. Yeah, that's disgusting. How does that make sense? You just <laughs> joined <laughs> Join Team Legend? No, I don't want to join. Wow. <laughs> they don't want me on the team. I don't want to be on the team. <laughs> Who said they don't want you on the team? Brandon doesn't want me on the team. Who cares? I don't know. If, Either way, if we all want the team, you'll make it, though. <laughs> whatever. I don't want to be on the team. How do you think Trejo's on the team? Yeah, you think he's good? <laughs> Let's not get into that. <laughs> and we got a good YCS champion. I, oh. We played a uh, we played a total of twenty three cart or twenty three rounds, and then um, Wait, what? You I played, played that long. Yeah, we played that long. I beat him nineteen out of twenty three times. So I don't know what, what that was says. He playing? Mirror match, Necros. But he's playing clown, Necros, oh. and I was playing my uh, really? decisive armor build. He didn't lose. <laughs> nope. I thought the clown duck like the clown version was faster. No, nah, I just maxied him every time and just oh, was over. Man. Yeah. It was, what the heck? Yeah, I know, man. Dance boost is pretty strong too, man. Yeah, I press block. Yeah, I just get my All right, back. Well, anyway, back to the There's game. the mind control, which is another sacky card in this matchup. But luckily, it doesn't have an elf at all, so it plays around it. Yep. So, you know, because mind control does target. Yeah, so. yeah. Boom, bring out the Shaq, the big old booty. Shaquisha Naga. Shaquisha Naga. Ooh, big booty, Shaquisha. Yeah. What are you feeding with? Uh, hat trick or something else? Uh, it was hat trick in a. Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, but he's not touching his deck. And usually, when you spend shuttle, they touch their deck. Yeah. Maybe it was a dragon. Yeah, probably was a dragon. All right, so Matthew, Matthew actually mm -hmm. coming back. Yeah. Well, I Amino thought, still has a huge wall though. But Cali AC isn't that big. <laughs> big deal. Is big though. What are you talking about? Oh my God! You know what that is? That's a. That's a fish shield on my arm. That's nine. Oh, that's a beast over there. That's a three shoe on my brain. Yeah, but he's got a Sheck on the field. What the hell is that? That's true, but what whatever. Just do it, cuz. <laughs> Just do it, cuz. Oh, he's going to go Harold. All right. Uh, Harold the Bark Light. Yeah, he's a, can you just kill it next turn? With Shek You can attack it. What? What do you mean? Shek Kanaga? You can attack the Herald. Yeah. I don't know why he did that. Uh, but didn't he attack with Beast? Or did he yeah. just flip it? Uh, I, I don't think he attacked. No, he can't attack because there's a Sheck on the field. He mind controlled. And how do you go to defense? Wait. Like, I thought he break through it. I don't know. Didn't he just flip that this turn? Oh, no. Ask him. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that was Eric Box, by the way. Join me on the mic. Hey, didn't you just flip? Oh, last turn? Oh, what? Oh, okay. I could do mind control this round, I think. I, 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 I. Max C going hard, though. Getting I don't know. Strong. I wasn't paying attention because this game wasn't really that interesting. Um, <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? Should all mirror matches are fun, though. This is super boring. No, they're not. It's a resource for it. Uh, Unless you can sack him really hard. Yeah, and then he's going to add the Perdition Princess to his hand. Oh, yeah, he plays that bad build. Okay, how did that guy top? <laughs> what? Damn, dude. All you do is talk crap on the mic. Uh, I don't We're know. supposed to be doing that. I don't know how to like, what else to play today. Wait, is this top final two? This is top four. Oh, okay, the other matchup was Lauren and Sunny, but those guys don't want to play because they're scared of each other. Or they're secretly lovers. I don't know. Either they're, one. They're both. They're scared of. <laughs> They're love. scared lovers. <laughs> they're scared of how much their love is for each other. They told me they were going to wait to see who wins. Like, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Damn, all that advantage. It's not looking good for my boy Matt. I love me some team legends. I don't know why he went hard good. Good. I don't know. Maybe he just realized, oh crap. There's, there's a check on the field. <laughs> You're playing the same deck. How do you just... Made you... Do I smell a... Uh, 
a ritual monster? Yeah, he's gonna bring out a big monster that does nothing. If he can bring it out. What do you mean? It's, it's pretty good, but there's What's a it set gonna do? Field. Yeah. It Book of Moon stuff. That's all it does. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna summon it, and then... No! Uh, he just loses. It's over. Wait, no, that's 16. It wasn't 17. Yeah, right. yeah, he's... Damn, this is not looking good. Oh, uh, get body. Just summon the other one. Just summon, flip. summon me a less. Just flip it. <laughs> summon me a less. Is that a call 100 face down? I don't know what it is. Uh, it's a trap card. It oh, looks like a, a... It's a Tory. Oh. Did you see that Tory last game? No, you weren't watching. No, I wasn't watching. You were there beating the YCS champion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that guy. Jeez, he's looking good. And, uh, yeah, he, he, he's super salt. Because he was like, how many times do you draw Manju? I opened three Senju and one Manju in my opening hand. And I still won, and he was saying I had the advantage because I opened my hand. <laughs> I was like, what the? He's like, he didn't draw a single century. Are you thinking about going to China now? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's so easy. No, no, no. Right? <laughs> they play OCG, man. I get Harvey Feather Dust. Oh, they do. And they do Free. play OCG. I just go, like, I don't know, Manju, Kaleidoscope Unicorn, Overlay, uh, Ptolemaeus. Ptolemaeus going to Cyber End, and then oh, going to Do you know what Jack Jewel is playing for YCS? Uh, he's playing that, uh, whatever Draco Slayer. Oh no! Wait, perform power? Yeah, he's that playing. Stupid deck? Yeah, oh he's playing God. that deck. With the... Did he bring any of those cards over? Like, yeah, I want to see an infinity. Yeah, he's got infinities in his binder right now. What? That's so cool. Yeah, he says... And the new performances? I don't know. I didn't see it. I didn't see. I was too busy looking at his like ten thousand dollar binder over there with like a foreign CP card in there. <laughs> About to call the, the, infinity call the FBI the for all the CP oh, he the, had in his binder. The trap chick. <laughs> <laughs> the trap chick's from Aplasia guy. Yeah, yeah, he's got that guy too. Shockmaster? Yeah, nah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, they play Shockmaster. Did, did he have them in English or? Yeah, yeah they're all, the press is Japanese. You can't play English. But he plays in China. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in Japanese so, in yeah, China? Yeah, like, that's kind of counterproductive. Wouldn't they be Chinese? So are you playing China in Japan foreign? You just assume? Would, would Japan be foreign? I don't know what they do. They do the OCG. It would be foreign. Come on. Whatever. They're all foreign. I don't like this match anymore. It's not looking good. It's boring. I don't know how Arminio hasn't just gone all out yet. I know. How come Arminio hasn't killed him? What's the math? It's either he's not doing very well, like, attack-wise or something. Or Matthew's He's sending Kamada and setting a Falco. Oh. And then watch this. He goes, no movement cross up. There goes that Falco. Because <laughs> they're playing Goat now. <laughs> the sides and shit. Oh, oh he really wants to draw that card. There he goes. Let him draw it. You I don't know what it. life is. Yeah, life is over for that yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Never, it doesn't matter. They both made it this far. They're both playing decent decks. There's like six people in the tournament. Right? Okay, three there three was times. not six people. There was like four. <laughs> <laughs> and we all oh, get Baylor's cuz. Look at him. I mean, was like, damn, I need to get this draw. It doesn't matter. He just wasted a Baylor. Wow. He needs BLS now to win. He doesn't need BLS. He's got a Falco a... face down. Oh, but he's going to get with Shep. Shep. They can. They can. Because when it splits, it splits into a monster. I don't know. Maybe. But he has to have a Chagall monster. Or a Chagall card, sorry. Because he has six. He yeah. does? Yeah, no, he does not. If he doesn't summon it, like, it moves. But he has a face down Falco right there, right? Yeah. He just flip it and then. Then what? Trish him. Trish him with what? Oh, wait. No, that's a. That's Bro, a piece. you know that count? Oh I can't see. God. That okay. was. Oh, my God. No, he just goes Leo, man. You know what? It was. Thank you for helping out. Everybody, you can leave. <laughs> You're giving us all false information. No, I thought he had a, that was a, a dragon or a squamata. <laughs> I can't see it from here. So far oh, right. oh, oh, it's a squamata. It doesn't crazy. even matter. Damn, who's wait, a squamata? Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh there it oh, is. There we go, guys. There's a right guy. What's the blowout? No, 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 no. Get out of here. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. Remember to leave a comment. Hey, what game was like. it? That was game three. That was it. Oh, what the hell? Team Legends TV. Oh, yeah. Subscribe. Facebook fan thing. What's it called? Team Legends TCG. Later, guys.